The Mixed Mornings and More podcast with Steph and Sean. Now available daily. Good morning, world. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It's May, it's the 18th, and it's 5... 5.34. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Today's one of those days I've already had to say, uh, not today, Wednesday. Not today. What happened? My keys were missing. This... Oh, that's like the worst thing that can happen in the morning because I don't know about you, but I'm ha- I'm half asleep when, when I'm coming to work. Yeah, and all the lights are off in my house. Like <laughs> I usually just grab them off the table where I set them when I walk in yeah. and I leave. And uh, this morning they were not there. They were not on like the counter where I may have been like, oh, I need to wash my mm-hmm. hands immediately and put them beside the counter like I sometimes do. And I could not find them. I ended up having to turn on multiple lights to go looking for these things. Uh oh, did you have to wake up your husband as well? Oh, I was so close. <laughs> it it was about to go down until I found them underneath his hat. Uh oh. On his couch. Uh oh. And then you woke him up. <laughs> no. I didn't because I remembered that um I had bought a new bike tube for my bike tire. Oh. And it was in my car, and he was such a oh. kind man and went out to my car and got the bike tube and replaced. Right. Okay, so tire. he did some good then. Yeah, so he just didn't put my keys back in the right spot, <laughs> but he does get the points for being such a nice guy. That's right. He's like, bike. I might switch out this tire, but I'm going to make you work for it in the morning before you go to work. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Very wholesome moment on Twitter.com the other day, Steph. Twitter.com. Whoever says that. Everyone. Get on Twitter.com and you'll see. Pardon me. All right, let's go. Tell me more. Yeah, so our our holy premier, Jason Kenney, (laughs) uh, he's always on the Twitter.com. And um, a lot of people, when they're mad online, they don't really, like, realize who they're typing to and they'll just type something in. And so our premier's handle on Twitter.com is... J. Kenny. Okay. At J. Kenny. And then there's an OG person in America, and his name is Jason Kenny, at Jason Kenny. And oh, no. he's active on Twitter all the time. And I, I don't know what he does for a job, but he loves interacting with the people that just get mad at him and yell at him. So he plays with it. <laughs> and so Albertans are constantly tweeting at um, our premier, Jason Kenny, but they're. Tweeting at the American one. <laughs> so the other day, uh, our premier brought in the American one and hosted him at uh, the Alberta Assembly and, well, and the government building. That was the least he could do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is awesome. Can you imagine how much terribleness trolling you would yeah. take if that was your name? I'm sure there was some good stories shared of just like the most hilarious like kind of uh, interactions that they've kind of had uh, just with like, I can't believe you did this. I can't believe you did that. And th- th- I was getting all the flack for it. But I think there's a uh, an underlying tone from this all. I'm doing some deep diving investigating over okay. here, okay? Okay. Uh, the This happened just the other day, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, the UCP leadership vote, that happens today, I believe. Whoa. So I'm thinking and our premier, Jason Kenney, is maybe trying to slip a, a fast one. And if he doesn't win, maybe they'll try and just remove the other Jason Kenney and he can stick around. Oh. A little sneaky. He's that, got a double. That is really sneaky. He's does, got he a look, does he look like each other? Um, he looks like if our Jason Kenney worked out for about two years straight. So he's a little thinner, <laughs> a little better looking. But wow, it could happen. God, you're so nice. <laughs> As you know, I went on a giant adventure on the Hanging Stone over the weekend, Mm -hmm. and I have a certain talent for finding quicksand on riverbanks. Yeah. Do you just shout that out to the world? Or (laughs) I guess you did right now. (laughs) I did right now, but like I always seem to fall into it. It always happens where it's like already up to my knees and I'm just like, I I don't like it. I find it rather annoying, a little bit scary sometimes. I'm crawling out of it and I'm covered in mud. It's the worst. But then you keep going back to it. Well, I'm I'm on a different riverbank, but we're in northern Alberta, and that's all we have, apparently, is yeah. either rock beds or, or quicksand that's beds. That's right. So I just posted a picture the other day of my adventure, and I said, like, oh, I fell in some quicksand as usual. Ha yeah. ha. Yeah. Hashtag quicksand. Uh-oh. You know, Instagram, you can just find all types of folks on there. Oh, yeah. And yeah. someone commented on my post and said, like, whoa, quicksand, where? I would love to have some fun in that. And I was like, fun in quicksand, two words together. You got okay. sucked in, eh? You got sucked into the quicksand uh, part of Instagram. Yes, there is a quicksand part of Instagram. <laughs> this person has a full account where every photo is hashtagged quicksand 
fetish. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're going to be on that page soon. No, I hope not. Like, I'm a little bit worried. Like, I'm like, are you going to look back through all my posts that have, like, me covered in bitching and be like, maybe we should add they're you. They're not even going to ask you. They're just going to screenshot you stuck in quicksand and post you no, on there. No, no. Okay, like, most of her photos, though, the women are not ready for, like, a paddle down the river in their life jackets <laughs> and stuff like I am in my quicksand photos. Okay. They're... <laughs> Scantily clad. No way. <laughs> it's like a, it's a hashtag quicksand fetish. You should send me that at just for research purposes. Oh, yes, for sure. sure. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep you posted. Research. <laughs> the Battle Alberta hockey game starts tonight, Steph. How excited are you? Oh, my goodness. So excited. <laughs> Could have seven whole games of the Battle of Alberta. Do you, okay, do you know what it is? I think it's Ed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Edmonton and Calgary battling each other in round two of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Yeah, amazing. Thank Absolutely you. incredible. Thank you. So that starts tonight. It's the playoffs. It's the first time it's happened since like 1991, I want to say. And so they haven't met in a really long time. So the whole province is just going crazy right now. And uh, the councils in both the big cities, Edmonton and Calgary, um, Typical lame politician like fashion. They're just doing lame bets, and I don't okay. like it. Like, All right. well, I mean, I kind of like it, but I don't like it. So the part that I do like is that uh, whatever side of the council loses. So if the Oilers win or if the the Flames win, uh, let's say the Oilers win. Yeah. Uh, the Calgary Council will have to donate towards like uh, Kids Cancer Society. Oh, okay. What don't you like? See, so that's the good part. That's the good part. Okay. Donating towards charity. Uh, the lame part is like, and then and then also the losing council is going to have to wear, like, uh, the other team's jerseys for a day. Oh, I don't think that's that lame. It's pretty lame. Okay, no, but this is what happens. Yeah. The way social media is these days, something can come back to haunt you 10 years later. Oh. So say somebody's on council right now, in 10 years they want to be mayor of Calgary, oh. and then these trolls find a picture of them wearing an Edmonton jersey and they'll be like this guy is Shaming for Edmonton yeah. yeah and they would just totally ruin their lives and their whole campaign because they wore the wrong oh. jersey so I think it's like high stakes here okay it's still kind of lame but <laughs> okay better yet what if the oh. two councils oh instead of letting the boys do it on the ice yeah. what if they went out and did their own street hockey game had See? the best of seven now you're taking it to the next level. See, it, they just need a little bit of innovative thinking. Like two councils, imagine if they met up in like Red Deer, the meeting grounds, <laughs> and they just had a street hockey game to decide it all. Gasoline see, Alley, see, let's do it. I, I like know. it. I'm driving there. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to play High IQ. Yeah, you have a chance to win four passes to Vista Ridge's Aerial Play Park every day throughout the week. And today we're just going to ask you a height-related trivia question if you get it right, your caller three, you get the tickets. That's simple. 780-791-1037. Now, yesterday we asked you a height question, and it was, how tall is Sean? Yeah. <laughs> and we went on kind of a wild goose chase. No one could get my height until like the 30th person called in finally and got my height, which was uh, hilarious. But So now let's just turn the tables on you, Steph. How tall is my co-host, Steph? And the good thing is we know exactly how tall I am because I actually brought a measuring tape <laughs> because I didn't know what the answer to that was. But I'm aware now, and we will give you the tickets if you tell us. All right. Answer. Four passes to Vista Ridge's Aerial Play Park. Be caller number three, 780-791-1037. How tall is Steph? Thanks for calling Mix 103.7. This is Steph and Sean. Who's this? Amelia and her dad. Well, hey, guys. Uh, do you know how tall I am? How tall do you think she is? Five, seven. Oh, Five, thank seven. you. I am not that tall. Close, though. <laughs> we'll have to move on to our next caller. Try again. Hey, thank you. Thanks, thank guys. You. And this is Steph and Sean. Who's this? Hi, Steph. It's Izzy. Hey, Izzy. Oh. All right. Okay. You have seen me in real life. <laughs> what do you think? How tall do you think she is? Well, me and my daughter were just debating that. She said 5'4". I said 5'3". Oh. We're going to go with... We're going to go with 5'3". Okay, I actually am taller than that. <laughs> oh, you can't give oh. any hints oh, over there. Oh, sorry, sorry. Whoa! Yeah, I the next caller, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, guys. Hey, we, we got to move on to our next one, but try again. Who's this? Hello. It's 
Ashley and Preston, we think Steph is 5'5". Five five. Whoa, Ashley and Preston, I think you're right. Congratulations. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you just won four passes to the Vista Ridge Aerial Play Park. <laughs> have, you, have you guys ever been? Uh, no. Have you been to Vista Ridge, Preston? No. 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 Oh. Oh, an adventure awaits you there. It's super fun. Big congratulations, Preston and Ashley. You're off to Vista Ridge's Play Park. We'll play again. High IQ tomorrow. Sean, I have a new word for you to learn. Bring it on. What am I? I'm like one for 20 in this. So let's go. <laughs> you know, you you finally guessed one right. Yeah. Uh, I have no faith in you today, but this is called <laughs> clutter core. You've done these cores before, different style of cores. And every time I hear core, I always think of metal music because metal always has like different <laughs> styles of metal. And it's like hardcore, heavy core, metal core. So like clutter core. Maybe that's just a different style of metal music. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. It's like a whole bunch of like double kicks, heavy riffs, screaming, no rhythm. It's just everything all at once throughout the whole song. Okay, I like your imagination there. You never remember, though, what core means when I'm talking about okay, it. Okay, because I, I have another guess, okay? okay? Yeah. Cause, so it's not. I'm assuming it's it not. It's not heavy metal music all at once. Okay, so um, my more reasonable guess <laughs> is how about a group of people just like hired to clean up your clutter, whether it's it's outside or inside, uh, they're the clutter core and they will clean your mess. Very fun. That would be a cool name for a, <laughs> for a group of people who are organizers. However, that is not what it is. So let's level up your lexicon. Clutter core is basically the opposite of minimalism and it's using your clutter as decorations. So oh. they're kind of saying like, you know, this minimalist trend came out and everybody has oh. made their spaces white. They've added just a few like metal tinges and things like that. And every space looks the same. Oh. But then you don't have the things that you love on display. So they're saying clutter core is, you know what? You like that poster from a magazine? Put it on your wall. <laughs> you love Hello Kitty mugs and you have a collection. Why not put them out and show them? And so they're saying like <laughs> organized chaos in your house but it's everything that makes you you okay i can see that except for the one person that hoards like tupperware containers just like putting their tupperware all everywhere <laughs> it's like i don't know someone told me to do it in a magazine you don't like it <laughs> may long weekend's coming up here steph and we've already seen kind of across canada gas prices already taking a hike up yeah, I saw somebody say pretty soon I'm going to be skinny because I won't be able to f afford gas and I'll have to walk oh. everywhere. But also the food has gone up so much I won't be able to afford to eat either. And I was like, oh, my God. Right, whoever said that you are fantastic. OK, you are already fantastic as you are. Uh, <laughs> in Fort McMurray, I saw on Sunday I was driving downtown. Drove by one place, 164. Drove by the next place, 174. So it already took a little bit of a hike. Are, mm -hmm. Do you think it will take another hike before May Long, like before the weekend hits? I mean, that is the tradition. That is the knowing, like, I'm going to be driving out of town this weekend. I should fill up on Wednesday yeah. so that I don't have to pay those high premiums of the long weekend gas hike. Yeah. But it feels like we've already been on a gas hike for two months. So yeah. I'm like, are they going to... Yeah, I know, because I was like, even more? I was like, was Sunday the hike or are we having another one yeah. this week before the May long? It's just like the mind games that they play with us is very rude, I would say. <laughs> yeah, it's like, go and fill up now or don't. Maybe it, what if they surprise us and they put the gas prices down on Friday? Manifest that. Yeah, okay, yes. I would love that to please, happen. Please come on. <laughs> uh, well, uh, hey, we want to we want to try and help cover uh, regardless of what the price is. We want to try and help cover a little bit. That's why we're having a little contest over on our Facebook page. Yeah, we've got a uh, prediction post up. You guess what the gas price is going to be at at 10 a.m. on Friday. It's only open for today. Commons close at 11 yeah. tonight. <laughs> and we have one $100 gift card to give to the correct guess. If more than one person guesses correctly, we know there are only so many cents in a dollar something. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't get over two dollars. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll draw from all the correct answers and one person will win that gas gift card. Yeah. All the all the nitty gritty details are over on our Facebook page. We posted about 20 minutes ago. It's already over like 80 comments right now. Oh. And so it's just a nice little nice little gesture. hundred bucks to you if you're traveling out of town. Maybe you won't have to pay for uh, one tank 
of gas. <laughs> I've been debating talking about this for about a week or two here, Steph, but I finally just came up with the courage, okay? Okay, thank you for, for getting some. What's yeah. going on? Yeah, I think I stumbled across a, a secret community in Fort McMurray. Okay. Yeah, it was, uh, I, was, I was out for a walk a long time ago, and I was, I'm just discovering new parts of Fort McMurray. I go here, I go there, I go everywhere in between. Mm -hmm. And then this one place, I'm not going to name where, but I think I stumbled upon a secret bike park. A bike park. Yeah, what I think there's. What does that even a, look like? Oh, well, I can't tell you. Oh. I don't want to go into detail because I think they're going to beat me up if I talk about it <laughs> in detail. Probably because um, it's it, it, it was almost like Fight Club. Where it's like we're a part of Fight Club, and the first rule is don't talk about Fight Club. So I'm kind of stepping out of the boundaries. I feel here. Wow. Well, have they welcomed you in yet? No, there was no one at the bike park, but it was just it was it was just off the path, and it was very hidden, and it looked very cool. And what? Okay. I don't know if you're allowed to say. But like, I made up these own rules myself. Okay. But like, continue. Like, ask. What was it like? What made you say this is a bike park? Like, did it have bike jumps? Was it made of dirt? What's going on here? Yeah, yeah. There was just like stuff I like, kind of dug out in a little bit of way so you could like ramp up. And then like there was these like little wooden trails and stuff and just stuff that you could like kind of ride along. And it was very neat and it was very cool. And now I feel like I'm, well, I guess I'm not sworn to secrecy anymore because hello, talking on the radio. <laughs> but it was, I'm I'm just like, okay, this is the one time and I feel very cool stumbling upon it and then that's it. Okay, so are you going to go back with your bike and try and use the bike park? <laughs> yeah, because I have the cruiser bike. So yeah. I might I might diddle-daddle, but I, I think that would just end in an injury. So I might just watch from afar, and then maybe I can meet like some homies while I'm walking by again. Yeah, I don't think you should return to the scene of your crime, <laughs> since you have definitely talked about it on air now. Yeah. It's like, mm, Sean, you should lay low for a bit. Yeah, maybe so. I might take that route. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Our favorite day of the week, Wednesday, has arrived, and so has Miss with a furry friend from the SPCA. Hey, Misty. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us about this little one. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's Cat Wednesday. We have one of our resident felines here today. Her name is Churro. And just like her name, she is really sweet. She's a little bit timid now. So if you're watching the Facebook Live, she might just be looking there curled up. But uh, really, she's so sweet. Uh, I actually had a um, homeschooled group tour through the shelter this week. And there's a video we posted on our uh, Facebook page where she's just sitting there playing with them. They're all sit like sitting in a hurdle and they're all playing with one of those like weird ball tube oh, yeah. cat yeah. toys. It's really sweet. She loves kids. <laughs> she loves people. The funny thing with her, though, is she's missing her meow. Oh. <laughs> so, so she's she got like quiet? this. Yeah, she's got this raspy little like meow. It's not like the full on like, you know, how some cats have like loud ones. Hers is kind of like meow, meow. <laughs> she used to be a smoker back then. <laughs> Just got a raspy little meow. Yeah. Uh, how did how did you describe her? She was a tor torty. Or she's something? a torty. Yeah. No, she's a. So oh, you hi. get you, there's like two Sorry, types. I called you a smoker. She's <laughs> coming over to me now. She's giving me grief. She's like, excuse me. She's like, I'm only two actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she's a torty. The she's a she's really sweet. She's really friendly. Uh, she fit in well. You might have just heard that meow there. Uh, she's just adorable oh i love it okay and tell me what what's going on with the svca coming up in june so we have uh the our annual winky day is coming up on june 5th so we're uh, it's actually a winky rides grab glides event but we just kind of help out there's going to be a memorial motorbike ride going to anzac and back with uh greb and sandy i'll uh, we'll also have a barbecue some dog like games for your dog so it's really fun it'll be like musical sit all oh, that yeah. good stuff we'll have <laughs> nail trims a 50 50 and all of this is going towards the cause for pause fund uh, at the shelter in honor of winky oh i love it missy thanks so much for coming up here and for bringing us such lovely friends every week you can check out churro on the facebook live as well at the svca she would love a visitor yeah big shout out to uh pet value eagle ridge and downtown for making everything happen Want more of today's show? Download the Mixed Mornings and More podcast. Now available every weekday.